Hello everyone, and once again, welcome to my vlog. Alright, so the topic that I'm going to talk about in this vlog is all about my salary. <laughs> Yay! Finally! Finally, it has happened to me. Yes, I'm a singer. So finally, I got my first ever, ever salary with Utah Philippines. Uh-huh. And I'm going to show to you the payslip that I got. Um, earlier in the payslip that I made which will explain to you how I got that um, amount or how I got that money because mm -hmm. actually the, the payslip that I received from them is um, in Chinese and well it's not really helpful if I'm going to show it to you so what I did is that I made, I made a payslip on my own and um, I put on every details there from the date that I worked, started working and the number of hours that I worked on that day and the amount that I am paid per uh, 20, 25 minutes of class. Okay, question number one. <laughs> um, where does Utah Philippines deposit your salary? Actually, they accept all major banks here in the Philippines. They accept BDO, PNB, BPI, Metrobank, and all other major banks, okay? Major banks in the Philippines but actually they prefer East West Bank because for example the salary is actually today 11th of May then you will get your salary immediately on this day yes immediately on this day because if your bank is from other banks there might be delays they said the delays might go from three to four days so in my case I don't want to make I don't want to wait for that long I went out of the house in spite of the quarantine. I went to East West Bank and opened up my savings account. Oh, yeah. This one. This is the savings account that I opened up in East West Bank. This is a... This is actually a savings account with ATM card. Um, the maintaining balance on this one is 10000 Actually, you can open up um, an ATM account which is the maintaining balance is only 2,000 pesos. But you can also opt for uh, a payroll account. So you have to submit some requirements to uh, Utah Philippines so that you can get a payroll account and that payroll account, payroll account doesn't need to have any maintaining balance. So if you want that, then do it. If, yeah, <laughs> but in my case, I want to have a passbook because I'm, I'm such a I'm such a traditional type of person, you know, I'm really old. So I want something that can be can be seen, can be held, something like this. Not just there on the mm. internet, I want something physical. So that's why I have this one. Alright, so I'm going to show to you the payslip that I received. So I started working in Utah on the 26th of April. All right, so this one is my payroll, I mean payslip. <laughs> I actually created this one because the one that I got, as mentioned, is in Chinese. So I don't want you guys to see that one. So this one is a very simplified form of payroll that I created earlier. So again, I started on the 26th of April and the cut off was um, April 15 to 30. So I was in the cut off. So 26. I worked only for 25 minutes, so I had only one class on that day. So that is equivalent to one class, 25 minutes. So that one is 80 pesos. Because, you know, my 25 minute class is worth 80 pesos. And then the next day, April 27, I worked for three hours or equivalent to six classes. So times 80 for three hours of working, 480 pesos na. And then April 28, I worked uh, for 3 hours and 25 minutes or 7 classes. 
so times 80 pesos so that is 560 so imagine only working for 3 hours and 25 minutes um, 560 na yung uh, yung ano ko yung pera ko so April 29 I worked 4 hours and 25 minutes or equivalent to 9 classes actually you know working for 4 hours and 25 minutes as a first timer was so stressful <laughs> um I wasn't st- I wasn't uh, stressed on what to teach because the material is there. What I was really concerned of was the um, the the courseware or the platform that we are using to teach. Because you know I'm not the type of person who is very techy. So if if there will be problems about things and like that, I got I always get um, tens. I always get I, I panic. <laughs> So, unfortunately, unfor- nothing happened on that day. So, again, April 29, 4 hours and 25 minutes. So, equivalent to 9 classes times 80 pesos. So, I had, I have 720. And again, April 30, I worked for 4 hours. So, that is equivalent to 8 classes. So, 8 classes times 80 pesos, 640 to a grand total of... 2,480 pesos. Ay, di pa grand total. Kasi there is one additional hour. Um, I, I don't know kung saan to galing. Pero I think I'm gonna ask the, the, the accounting department bakit may additional 186. <laughs> Oo, swerte sila. No? Nagreklamo ako because there is an additional pay of 186 pesos. But again, the grand total is 2,666.67 pesos. Um, yes, yeah, so that is how many days of working? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 days of working and it's not even 8 hours a day. So imagine... Um, th- there were days that I was just working for three hours and there was even a day na isa lang yung klase ko. Well, that is only 80 pesos, but you know, that was the start of my teaching in Utah. So, that's fine with me. I have no complaints whatsoever. Well, if you compare this kind of salary to other jobs, like if you work in an office, um, you work for eight hours a day. Yes, that is what we all what that is what we normally do, eight hours a day or even nine hours come over time or even ten hours, and um, you your salary is you know you you observe the like how much is the the required salary in your particular province, here in my town or in my city I don't I think it's around four hundred naba I don't think four hundred plus, yeah but you have to work for eight hours to get that kind of amount. So, um, here, um, in my case, I work for five hours every day at night. And if I work for full five hours, I will earn 800 pesos. But mind you, you know, working online is still hard work. It's not a joke if working on, if you want to work online for five hours straight and then your eyes are there fixed on your computer screen oh, sakit ng mata. and um coupled with the fact that you know you are teaching english to children to chinese children or to japanese children to korean children who are not able to speak english um it's really difficult so again if if your english is not good and if you don't have any teaching skills then I think you will have a hard time if you want to pursue a career in teaching English as a second language. Yes, so don't go for it. Or if you want to, if you really want to do it, then you better train hard. So I think we're moving away from our topic. Again, this one is my salary uh, cut off April 15 to 30. But then again, I started working April 26 to April 30. So pasok ako sa cut off. So five days of working but not eight hours my maximum working hours in a night is five hours okay so right now i'm going to show you my projected salary for the next cutoff okay so this one is my projected salary on may 25 2020 again this is not the official pay slip but this is my projection. Um, 
as you can see there, I have more classes starting May 1 until 14. So multiply by my rate. And um, oh, by the way, um, weekends I have instead of 80 pesos, it's going to be 95 pesos per class. So again, the grand total will be 7,770. And I have incentives uh, because they always give incentives at the end of the month. So I am expecting more incentives and there will be an additional money for that, of course. So I think I'll be receiving more than 7,777 for the next cutoff. So I'm so excited for this one. And I'm so looking forward to receive my salary. Okay, so you have seen enough of my salary and my projected salary. And I hope um, that will actually help you or encourage you to, to explore all the possibilities in finding a job online or earning online. And of course, teaching English as a second language is definitely one of them. Especially for us Filipinos, this is so easy for us to get. There are a lot of ESL companies out there, and of course, Utalk is one of them. But to tell you honestly, Utalk is not hiring as a moment. They have stopped accepting applicants because they said they said that they have a lot of teachers as of the moment. There are more than 300 teachers on the line, and um, I think this is actually the result of the quarantine because you know a lot of people are already here inside the house they we cannot go out and during that time on uh, the start of the quarantine period uh, we still want to earn and just like me you know I want to earn and I found YouTube thank you Lord and actually I was one of the applicants that got accepted as part of the last batch yes so thank you Lord I'm so lucky <laughs> and um, Again, I will still, I mean, I will, I will inform you if, you know, you talk is hiring once again, I will keep you updated. So that is why keep on watching my videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my video or to my channel. So I have already 31 million followers. <laughs> I, has, I only have 31 followers. <laughs> So please, 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 if you're watching the video right now, please subscribe so that at least, you know, um, I will have at least 100 of subscribers. Well, I'm still new. I'm still new. I'm still not. I'm barely a month old doing this one. So I think having 31 subscribers is also is already good. So it, this is, it's not bad. <laughs> so again, subscribe to my videos, subscribe to my channel, I mean, and don't forget to, um, don't forget to visit my social media accounts, my Twitter accounts, my Instagram and my Facebook accounts. If you want to know more about ESL teaching and you talk Philippines, or if you want to just chat with me about just about anything, I will reply. I have a lot of time with me, so I'm a good person. Don't worry, I won't bite and I'm single and I'm available. <laughs> all right, so that's all for now. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.